So a couple of people um, have uh, messaged me after my last video. Um, if you saw that, that was about my modified um, night finder. Some people um, commented that I should put a clear pet G breach inside, or sorry, not breach, um, plunger tube, and so I did. As you can see right there, you can see right into the plunger tube, right inside. You can see the spring and everything. So this is just a plunger tube replacement. It's one inch thin wall pet G. And in the back, that is the spring rest, and that it because the pet G stops like right there because they didn't have enough. Um, but the um, there's a coupler right, right there, and that coupler um, houses the springs, a PVC coupler, and it fits the spring perfectly. So um, the because earlier um, when the pet G stopped right there, the spring would get all bunched up and then it wouldn't work. But now it's all perfect. And one thing about this is it has more inch, more draw, and I'll show you that it has completely full compression. Like, you can't even, right there, you can see that the spring coils are touching. I can't even get one bit more out of it. So then, when I do a seal test, it's okay. Um, it's just average for a night finder. And yeah, so it's a little bit harder to prime. I have to prime it between my legs now. I can't just go like this because one's got longer draw. And yeah. Surprisingly, half a K26 is harder to prime than a full K26, which that's pretty strange. Um, I don't know why. But like my night finder rifle is easy to prime. But I will fire it a couple times with my four speed loader. I'm just loading up the darts at the back. Yeah, so this gun is really nice. It's my new sidearm. And dart just fell. So yeah, it fires much nicer with this new setup. One, it has full compression and it has more plunger value. Um, but yeah, that's the new Night Finder I made. And yeah, so thanks for watching.